and welcome. Thanks for joining us. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Detroit Tigers going up against the New York Mets. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set now. Now here is Akil Badu. Leading off the afternoon for Detroit. The left fielder. Akil. The pitch. Badu. Inside corner. That's a strike. And we're underway. To the right side. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. No play. That's an infield single. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top. Of it. Runner takes off. Pitch in for a strike. McCann fires. Ow! Caught stealing. The wind of the pitch. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. Swings and misses, two out. Now it's Javier Baez. Up the middle, on the run, sends it over to first. Throw pulls him off the bag, and he's safe. Now batting Jamer Candelario. Well, who would have thought Jacob deGrom as a college shortstop and then a ninth-round pick by the Mets was going to turn into this good of a pitcher? Back-to-back -back Cy Youngs in both 2018 and 2019. deGrom checks over to first, and he's back. Baez off of first with two away. Next offering is in for a strike. Yeah, Boo, just incredible. You look at that benchmark of 200 innings, comfortably over that in 2018 with 217. And the sub-2 ERA, just impressive at 1.70 to lead the league. And the 2-2. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Checks over to first. Back safely. And here it comes. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Well, interesting. He went with the off-speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. So two down. And up next for Detroit, Miguel Cabrera. In there for strike one. You know, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus. And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. Bottom of the first. Here's Brandon Nimmo. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. First pitch, and he just misses. Well, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. On the ground to short, whips it to first, and a quick out number one. Here's Starling Marte. First pitch doesn't find the zone. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. That one ripped. That's back there. Out of the warning track, and he hauls it in. It's a really good swing. He just didn't get quite enough of it to beat the wind. It's blowing in from right field right now. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the veteran shortstop, Francisco Lindor. First offering misses the mark. The wind of the pitch. This to third. Over to first. 
And the Mets go one, two, three. Back on my Brooklyn. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Back here at City Field. Second inning set to go. And now it's Jonathan Scope. The second baseman. Jonathan. Now the right hander ready to go. Still no score. That one in triple digits. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. Stays alive. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. And a swing and a miss. And one gone. Spencer Torkelson up now for the Tigers. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. Righty to the plate. And that's in for a strike. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top level guy like this. And fouled off. Kicks and fires. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Two outs, space is empty. Now here's the Detroit catcher, Tucker Barnhart. And that's in there for strike one. Second inning here, no score. Next offering is foul back. Left hand batter waits. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Two outs. Fought off foul. No score here in the second. Oh, that One one's ball. behind him. And a swing and a miss. The big righty strikes out the side. Back here in Queens, bottom of the second. Here's a big power threat. Pete Alonso. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Rodriguez. Not a big strikeout guy, but still very effective as far as starting pitchers go. One of those guys that involves the defense and really gets him involved in the action. Next one misses and a count two and one. He moves the ball around all the quadrants of the strike zone and will add and subtract velocity. And because of that, he gets the weak contact. It's all about missing the barrel of the bat. Next pitch is outside. Kicks and deals. And there's ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. It seems like this type of guy is kind of a dying breed nowadays. Well, exactly. When teams are looking for high velocity, high strikeout rates, a guy like this doesn't necessarily do that. So in order to really appreciate how good he is, you have to see it. Because if you're just looking at a stat sheet, you might overlook it. Next offering upstairs. And the pitch. Runner on the goal. Next offering is fouled back. Stays alive. And a ball in two strikes. Got him looking. One away. Eduardo Escobar. El Caballo up to hit. The switch hitter batting right. Escobar. Fouled off. He was late. And a pitch. That's hard hit in the line. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. Lead runner holds it third. So two runners in scoring position and just one out. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. But a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Two on, one out. 
There's a strike. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Pitch misses. Get a count one and two. And he deals. Got him swinging. Huge strike out there. Jeff McNeil stands in. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ball one, no strike. Hit on the ground to Candelario. Zips it across. And that is the inning. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. And stepping in is the speedy Victor Reyes. DeGrom back to work. Inside, just missed. Hoog, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Swings and misses. And a count one and one. Right-hander kicks deals. Just off the inside edge. And now the count filled up three and two. Back to work, three, two now. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. DeGrom checks the runner. Reyes dives back in safely. Badu in the box now. No balls and a strike. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's going to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Here's a 1-1. And another ball. The count two and one. Just missed. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. And the pitch. And that one in the air center field. Lays out and makes the play. Now it's Robbie Grossman. First offering, and it just misses. Tried to backdoor him with that slider right there, but just missed off the plate. Good pitch, though. Next offering upstairs. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at-bat strikeout. Here's the pitch. Runner on the goal. There's the ball. McCann fires. Safe. Stolen base. And the right hander deals. And it's ball four. He missed down low. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound. But, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this. But he's going to have to buckle down right here. Baez in the box for the second time. One ball, no strikes. Foul ball. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. So first and second with two outs. Next to hit, Jamer Candelario worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. In there, and it's 0-1. 0-1. Two on, two outs. 
And there's a foul ball. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. And that is that. And welcome back as we go to the last of the third. And now the veteran catcher, James McCann. The why to kick the pitch. Hit in the air, right field. Grossman should have this one. And there's one down. So the batting order turns over. Brandon Nimmo now at the plate. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One down, base is empty. Liner caught it second. Two outs, base is empty. Starling Marte up to hit. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. The wind and the pitch. Swings and misses. Oh, and two now. Not a swing you want to watch again. This to center field. Reyes under it. Brings it in. And that is that. Welcome back. And now up to hit Miguel Cabrera. The designated hitter. Miguel. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. And a good eye there. And the righty deals. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and a one. The pitch. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. And here it comes. Back to the mound. Toss to Alonzo. And Cabrera is retired. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Go. Batting with one down takes a strike. Not what he's looking for there in the 0-0 count. Looks like he wants the ball down in his own. And one and two. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. Next one is off the play, and it's two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The 2-2. Two -two. Three balls, two strikes. Got him. That's the second out. Two outs, bases empty. Digging in, Spencer Torkelson. Check swing, but he went too far. And that is strike one. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. He swings and fouls one off. Two down, nobody on. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the fourth. Now it's the shortstop, Francisco Lindor. The wind of the pitch. And that's in there at the knees. 
He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. Next pitch misses, and it's one and two. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Right side. Scope over to pick it up. Sends it to first. One up, one down. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And it's fouled away. Next offering is downstairs. Here comes a pitch. Ball two. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Pete Alonso takes it deep. And the Mets on the board first. It's 1-0. One, one out, base is empty. Here's Mark Canna. He was a strikeout victim his first time. First offering misses badly for ball one. And now the lefty. Nope. 2 0. Misses off the inside. Ball three. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. And next for the Mets, Eduardo Escobar. They try another pitch out. Kicks and fires. Runner on the goal. That's it for a strike. Barnhart, great throw. Caught stealing. Kicks and deals. And he walked him. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. Davis in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. That one drilled left field. And that is a foul ball. Escobar, the runner at first with two gone. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup. Good job at damage control right there. Back here at City Field. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now here's the Detroit catcher, Tucker Barnhart. And the right hander back to work. In the air, left side. Canna ranging to his right. The next pitch misses. And one and one. Righty delivers. McCann in position. And he makes the catch. One down. Oh, that's a frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics, and instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Reyes stands in now and watches strike one. Looking to get the tying run on base. Just misses with that one. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. 
That one the other way. Lindor. And the first two set down on the top of the fifth. Akil Badu up now for the Tigers. One for two. First offering misses the mark. Righty to the plate. Line drive, and that's just foul. The 1-1. One -one. Looking sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Bottom of the inning, and now it's going to be Jeff McNeil. And a pitch. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Hit on the ground to the right side. And it goes just foul. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. James McCann in now. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. First offering misses the mark. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Barnhart makes the play, two up, two down. Here's a speed threat, Brandon Nimmo. First pitch, just misses. Two outs. Just missed. Center field. Reyes ranging back. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that's the inning. And welcome back. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Robbie Grossman. DeGrom back to work. That clips a corner. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not. Now this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. Banks off the wall. Canna whips it back in, and they hold the lead runner at second. Potential tying run now in scoring position. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. So close to blasting that one out of here the other way, but well, that's very tough to do when you take on the outfield gap like that. Beautiful swing, though. Let the ball get a little deep and drove it to the opposite field. The batter now, Javier Baez. That one's in there, 0 1. The pitch. Now a one and one. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Swing and a miss. One and two. I think he was sitting off speed there. And the next pitch is way outside. Man at second. Strike three. Got him swinging. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one away. And now it's switch hitting third baseman Jamer Candelario. 
Next offering is down low. And that is ball one. Runner leads away at second. Swings and misses. And that's strike one. And a pitch. One run game. One out. One on. Bounced up the middle. Tosses the first. And he's out. So now the DH spot. Miguel Cabrera. Known for his late inning heroics. In there for strike one. Not many guys go up there looking for an 0-0 breaking ball. But a good way for the pitcher to get ahead in the count. That misses. One and two to count. 0-2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Got him. Inning over on the strikeout. Derek Hill now in the game as he comes in as a new right fielder. Well, we go bottom six. Now it's the right fielder, Starling Marte. The wind of the pitch. And misses inside. And the 1 0. Swing and a miss. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. On the ground. Scope picks it up in plenty of time to first. One away, bottom of the sixth. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. This one squared up down the left field line. If it's fair, it's gone. It's fair, and it is gone. Francisco Lindor takes it deep, and they add on. It's 2-0. So one out, nobody on. Here's Pete Alonzo. And that one fouled off. On the ground, out to short. Baez fires over to first. And that takes care of Alonzo. Now, Mark Canna. And that's in there for strike one. The pitch. Good eye right there. One ball, one strike. And the pitch. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. The pitch. That misses the zone, and the count is two and two. The wind and the pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. In the air, out towards right center. Hill, long run into the gap. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Here in Queens, here's the second baseman, Jonathan Scope. The second baseman, Jonathan The right-hander back to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, just about to hit that century mark, 100 pitches for this game. Next pitch is outside. Struggle a little bit in this one. Couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2-0. Next offering upstairs. 
That just missed. He walked him on four pitches. Well, that'll bring the tying run to the plate. So all eyes on the man coming to the dish right now. And next to hit for Detroit, Spencer Torkelson, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. In there, and it's 0-1. There was a high-velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. The tying run at the plate. Let's go. On at first. Nobody out. Strike two. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. And he deals. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. And now the batter is Tucker Barnhart. Inside and it hit him. Now the pressure is already high and now it's been cranked up to another level. Man, his head must be spinning out there on the mound. He's got to find a way to slow things down. That breathing technique, Boog. Let everything out. And next up for the Tigers, Victor Reyes. He's 0 for 1. First pitch and that's in for a strike. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. The 0-2. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. And there's a hit. And they stop him at third. So base is loaded with one away. Well, a big swing of the bat right there. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep, and I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not, but off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop-out, and it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. And now, Akil Badu. And first offering is fouled off. Left-hand batter waits. That's down and in. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. At the belt and fires. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Ground ball could be two. Over to McNeil. And that's a double play to end it. A little sigh of relief for the pitcher there, ending the ball game with a nice double play. You always love when you can get two for one, especially when it wraps up the ball game. Nice win for these guys today. 2 nothing. your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.
gusta como camina. Pero más me gusta cuando amanece, piensa en mí. Cuando sale por la calle, casi nunca piensa en mí. Todo lo que ella usa es de útil. Es problemática como una p con chip. Me tiene loco con ese p mi pete. Está puesta por la calle, va con el amor. Dice que soltera la pasa. Tu paña no sale. Yeah, you want the cheese, but without no dreams, you will continue to sleep on the couch, shooting the scene and making. 